because people judge on your soft skills here. It can actually can work very well because like even in the salary and everything, negotiating. So yeah, soft skills are really important here. So uh, welcome back everybody to a, uh, we should send close our <laughs> <laughs> to um, a new interview today on our YouTube channel from Find a Job in Germany. Um, I met again with one of our former clients, Sokochi Zamir. Um, we had a nice interview um, a year ago or even more. I think a year ago. A year ago. And we've got a link to that in this video as well. So if you're interested in that, like how Amir arrived in Germany, click on that. And yeah, today we met again on our office gathering today, um, where some clients joined us in our new office and thought it's a good opportunity to talk about your life in Germany again. So Amir, how are you today? I'm doing really well. I think much better than last year. <laughs> Why much better? Because I have now an apartment, permanent apartment here in Berlin, which is, if you ask me, it's a big relief. So yeah, that's a big thing I would, I'm really excited about having a permanent apartment. So yeah, I'm good. Awesome. Before we start, maybe quickly introduce yourself, tell us where are you from and what are you doing to for a living or for passion? Yeah, okay. So I'm basically from Pakistan, Multan. So I came here last year with find a job in Germany. So with the help of actually Tamo. So, and now I'm working as a senior front-end engineer for an open banking company, it's called Token. So we are basically dealing with all the banks in Europe. So yeah, I'm working on the main app, one of their main apps. Awesome, and you came here like 14 months ago, is that right? Yeah, I came here last April. And how was it for you? Like you are a React developer mainly, right? You yeah. mainly work with React or you full stack? I used to be full stack, but now I'm more inclined towards front end after your coaching because it's more fun working on one side. When you are full stack, you are always hanging like in between. <laughs> okay. And tell us a little bit, how was the job hunt for you from Pakistan? Like where did you start? I think... Uh, First thing I ask you, if you are scamming people for money, <laughs> but then again, <laughs> after like get to know you and coaching, I thought, yeah, it was good. And it was really fun. I think I found a job in a month, which was really nice. And I moved almost after three months. Before that, you told me to ask my company for the freelance contract which was really fun for three months working from Pakistan without any tax. Guys, that's a big thing. <laughs> because if you are moving into Germany, there's a big tax. But yeah, I think it's a much better life. Everything, work-life balance, everything is great here. And tell me, you tell us one thing about the interview process in Germany. What is different to Pakistan? Maybe one major, major difference. I think uh, people here are more not technical, they are more recruiter, which are not actual technical persons. So in Pakistan, usually they are technical persons who scan your CVs. So if you are really good at your technical skills, but not on soft skills of presenting yourself, you will not get very much job chance in here, here in Germany because people judge on your soft skills here. It can actually can work very well because like even in the salary and everything negotiating so yeah soft skills are really important here in Pakistan it's not that much important I would say it's okay so soft skills are key to get a job next to tech skills they need to be top-notch anyway right so how would you say the the, the difference or the experience level for coding challenge the the difficulties is that harder than in, in, in Pakistan at the same level? What would you say? I think uh, working here is actually more fun than working in Pakistan. It's not really that much technical difficult because you get the time to do the things. In Pakistan, 
is always hustle to get things done so you are like in one week you need this thing ready here things doesn't work that way they have the proper procedure and they take their time so it's really fun to work with a german company awesome let's speak about your first year in germany so you move jobs you move departments so if you look back how would you describe the last 12 months the first 12 months in germany it's been actually really fun last 12 months i have been to more country than in my life so <laughs> so which you know like if you are living in pakistan getting outside is really hard after moving to germany i've been to your like norway i think spain and maybe prague yeah <laughs> and czech republic actually and netherland as well so which has been really fun part of moving into germany you like it's is the whole world in your hand you can go anywhere anytime if you have money awesome and um now you live, you moved to from from Köpenick to Mitte in Berlin right how's that i think uh, if you here working in germany it's been a kind of roller coaster for finding apartment because like it's really difficult to find a permanent apartment here after moving to mitte everything become like 15 minute ride before i was in copenig is used to take like one hour which like after for one month two months it's fun but after six months it's get like on you like and then you are like not enjoying that ride daily so then i think moving to mitre was really good because i found the permanent apartments no i don't have to worry about finding a new apartment <laughs> and Two last questions. My the first last question would be, what would you recommend? What is one thing a person should do when they move to Germany? What would you recommend? Okay, so one thing I would really recommend is like, don't like encircle yourself with the locals always. Like if you are coming from Pakistan, don't look out for Pakistanis. Be open. Be more like interactive with foreigners. because you if you are moving to another country like know them and know other people's as well you always like care for your community that doesn't matter like but i think other people's are really same if you talk to them if you doesn't talk to them they are gonna be like always stranger for you awesome and what are your plans for the future do you want to stay here what are your plans you want to travel um I think I told you last time I'm currently in process of getting my driving license so I'm planning to actually still in the process yes so it's a long process it's a really long process like I had my simulation <laughs> done yesterday oh, yeah. yes but yeah it's a, like driving license here it's really difficult to get so yeah it is hoping, yeah i'm yeah i give you some driving license uh, driving lessons <laughs> yeah i used to drive in pakistan but like Pakistan you doesn't drive to follow no rules <laughs> yeah exactly you just drive to get on your destination here there are so many rules like yeah it's really diff- become difficult but yeah i think i will get i uh, yeah then and you want to take a motorbike and then travel europe that was your plan exactly. i remember that okay if you if you get your driving license the next video we do in a year is on your motorbike and i drive with you i'm really scared about driving on motorbikes so i have to say no, no it's really fun i've been driving it for like 13 years in pakistan in pakistan <laughs> but like okay one thing if you don't have to concern you with rules traffic rules driving in pakistan is really difficult because there you have to care for yourself here people also care for you <laughs> but like in pakistan you watch for your own life nobody gonna care for you <laughs> yeah i would love to do it awesome thank you very much amir and yeah if you're also software developer or devops engineer data engineer if you're working in tech and it and maybe you also want to move to germany get in touch with us you find a link below the video and yeah then book a get a no call with us and then most likely paul will speak to you and um assess your skills and if you're a good fit like meaning if the, you have the right tech skills we're going to work with you and have a second call with you a strategy consultation 
and then we explain to you how we work and then usually it takes three months to get a job offer and maybe in the next months we also might got to make a movie uh, a movie <laughs> a, a little clip like this uh, in Berlin today see you soon bye 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 bye